Hello, this video covers five important concepts of the samurai in Japanese history. The samurai warrior class became a powerful group during the Middle Ages. They have been depicted in modern media as brave warriors in movies such as The Last Samurai and video games like Ghost of Tsushima. The five topics highlighted in this video are samurai history, samurai social structure, samurai armor, samurai warfare, and the Code of Bushido. Topic number one is samurai history. Under the rule of Minamoto Yoritomo, who became shogun of Japan in 1192, a military government was set up in the city of Kamakura. During this period of Japanese history, the emperor had less power in governing Japan. The era of the samurai lasted about 700 years until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. Both men and women could be samurais in Japanese history. During the 1400s, Japan fell into a chaotic period. By 1603, Tokugawa Iyashu became shogun and moved the capital to Edo. This city later became known as Tokyo. The next topic is samurai social structure. At the top of the social hierarchy in Japanese society was the emperor. However, during the periods of military rule, a leader called a shogun became the de facto ruler of Japan. Under the shogun were many daimyos. These were like feudal lords in medieval Europe. The next class under the daimyos were samurai. Each rank awarded the lower ranks with land, money, and administrative positions. During different periods of time, the centralized power of the shogun strengthened and weakened depending on politics within Japan. The next topic is samurai armor and clothing. The samurai armor and clothing was quite extensive and elaborate with many layers. Below the armor, samurai would wear a short kimono with loose pantaloons and a breech cloth under everything. Sturdy shin guards with layers of leather, cloth, and iron protected the lower leg. In addition, samurai wore thigh guards, metal casted sleeves, and broad shoulder guards. To protect the body, samurai wore a sheath for the torso. This was made of rows of iron lamellae. Lamellar is armor in which small plates are strung together in rows using a cord. To protect the head, samurai wore iron collars and a lacquered iron mask, usually with a scary scowl on it. To top it off, a samurai wore a skull cap and a visored helmet with a neck fringe. The next topic is samurai warfare. A samurai's primary weapon was their sword. One type of samurai sword was called a katana, but there are a few other types as well. These swords were made of layers of steel of varying hardness to make them flexible but strong. The swords had long hilts so they could be wielded with two hands in battle. Samurai tested their new swords extensively. They would often practice their cuts on the body of a beheaded criminal. Samurai would also train in martial arts and they would also train their minds and bodies to endure fear and suffering. What was a samurai battle like? The samurai fought individual battles with samurai warriors of equal rank. Some samurai also fought on horseback. Samurai also fought with bows and arrows and spears. The intensity of samurai battles was depicted in Tales of the Heike. Here is an excerpt from the book. He sprang forward alone onto the bridge and shouted in a mighty voice, Let those at a distance listen. Those that are near can see. Who is there in Midera who does not know me, a warrior worth 1,000 men? Come on, anyone who thinks himself someone, and we shall see. And loosening off his 24 arrows like lightning flashes, he slew 12 of the Terra soldiers and wounded 11 more. He cast off his footgear, and springing forward barefoot onto the beams of the bridge, he strode across. All were afraid to cross over, but he walked the broken bridge as one who walks along a street. With his pole sword, he mowed down five of the enemy, but with the six, snapped asunder, and flinging it away, he drew his sword, wielding it in a zigzag style, an interlacing cross, reversed dragonfly, water wheel in eight sides at one styles of fencing, and cut down eight men. The next topic is Bushido. Bushido was a samurai code similar to the medieval knight warrior code of chivalry. It prioritized honesty, fairness, and fearlessness. Samurai were honest and loyal to their daimyos. Sometimes they would fight duels to avenge their lord's deaths. The slightest offense could lead to a sword fight. 
Ritualistic suicide was a practice in samurai society. This ritual was called seppuku or sometimes harakiri. Sometimes samurai would perform this act to preserve their honor or to avoid capture in battle. Please subscribe if you like this video and share it with someone who might find it useful. Thank you.